Here's everything you need to know about the upcoming 5 star character Jinzi, explained like you're 5 years old. Jinzi is a 5 star spectral broadblade using main DPS character with a majority of her damage coming from her resonance skills. Jinzi has 4 resonance skills. She starts with skill number 1, and after 4 basic attacks you unlock her second resonance skill. When you use her second resonance skill, she transforms into her first enhanced state. Let's call it Super Saiyan mode. When she's in Super Saiyan mode, she starts floating and she has an entirely new moveset, including a new resonance skill. She can also dodge infinitely. Doing 4 basic attacks in Super Saiyan mode turns her into Ultra Saiyan mode. When she's in Ultra Saiyan mode, she unlocks resonance skill number 4, which summons a dragon nuke attack. This nuke does more damage depending on how many stacks she has on her forte circuit. After using her nuke, she can use her outro and another character's intro skill without using Concerto Energy. Why? Because Jinzi also has something called Unison, which she gets after using her fourth resonance skill. When Jinzi has Unison, she can use her outro skill and another character's intro skill without consuming her Concerto Energy. Or her forte, she can gain up to 40 stacks. She gains one stack every time a character on her team deals damage. Damage of the same element can only gain 1 stack every 3 seconds, unless you use her outro skill which reduces the cooldown to 1 second. Jinzi's Resonance Liberation summons a dragon to do big damage. Her intro skill does spectral damage, and her outro skill makes it so spectral characters can gain stacks for her forte every 1 second, rather than every 3 seconds. For teams, you want people who can buff resonance skill damage. Why? Because that's where her, most of her damage comes from. You also want people who can deal damage off field. Why? Because she can get one forte stack every time her teammates deal damage. Why do you want to stack her forte faster? Because more stacks means more damage for your resonance skill nuke. So who comes to mind? First is Yinlin. Why? Because she gets a lot of hits off field. This is important. Why? Because she can generate a lot of forte stacks for Jinzi. Next is Tao Chi. Why? Because Tao Chi's outro skill has a 38% resonance skill damage deepened. This is important. Why? Because like I said a thousand times, most of Jinzi's damage comes from her resonance skill. She can literally cast it three times, the last time being a nuke. Imagine a 38% damage buff on that. Next is Mortify. Why? Because he's an off-field damage character, so he can help Jinzi with forte stacks. Also, his first sequence makes it so his resonance liberation also does coordinated attacks when the on-field character uses the resonance skill. And this is good. Why? Because Jinzi uses the resonance skill up to four times. Also, if you have him at sequence six, he gives a 20% attack bonus to your whole team when he uses his Resonance Liberation. Since Jinzi is a main TPS character, you want to team her up with a sub DPS character that has a good outro skill for her, as well as a healer character. So just take any of those characters that I mentioned previously, add her on a team with Jinzi, and then add a healer character such as Verena or Baizu, and you'll have your team. All right, let's talk about weapons. Obviously, Jinzi's best weapon is going to be her signature weapon, Ages of Harvest. Why? Because the main stat is crit rate, and it gives a 12% damage bonus, and increases her resonance skill damage by 48% if she casts her resonance skill after basic attacking 4 times. And she will do that in her main combo. And the next best weapon is the 5 star broadblade, Verdant Summit. Why? Because it has a crit damage main stat, and gives you a 12% damage bonus. The next best 5 star weapon after that, is the Lustrous Razor. Why? Because it's the only other 5 star broadblade left. Simple as that. For 4 star weapons, the best 4 star weapon for Jinzi is the Battle Pass Broadblade, Autumn Trace. Why? Because it increases your attack by 4% every time you hit an enemy with your basic attack or heavy attack up to 5 times. It also has a crit rate main stat which is very, very useful. For my free to play players, the next best 4 star is Helios Cleaver. Why? Because it increases your attack every time you use your resonance skill, stacking up to 4 times. And guess what? She uses her resonance skill up to four times. All right, for the best echoes for Gen Z, you're going to want to run 43311 as the most optimal build with a five piece Celestial Light set, with Dwe as the main echo. Why? Because Celestial Light increases spectral damage up to 40%. And guess what? Gen Z is a spectral character. Why Dwe? Dwe does an AoE coordinated attack when the user uses their resonance skill up to three times. The enemies hit with this AoE coordinated attack will also take damage over time for 6 seconds, stacking up to 3 times, with new stacks extending the effect period. And guess what? Jinzi uses her resonance skill 3 times, at least! Now your 4 cost echoes should be crit rate or crit damage main stat depending on what you need, probably crit rate. The 3 cost echoes should be spectral damage percent main stat, and the 1 cost echoes should be attack percent main stat. The next best other than 43311 would be 44111, with the same thing being 5 piece celestial with Jue as the main echo. Why? Because of everything I said before. Now your other 4 costs will be the Morning Ikes, and the stats will be the same. 4 cost Echoes will be Crit Rate, Crit Damage main stat, and the 1 cost Echoes will be Attack Percent. For her substat priorities, you should prioritize Crit Rate or Crit Damage, then Resonance Skill Damage Bonus, then Resonance Liberation Damage Bonus, then Basic Attack Damage, 
energy recharge, heavy attack damage, and then everything else is useless and a dead stat. Unlucky, bro. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about Jinzi. Hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure to like the video so you don't lose your 50-50 on Jinzi. Alright, bye.